is this stuff all over the floor? Oregon jumping Alright, so I talked to a lady who's been living here two years and didn't she didn't even know this existed. Because you don't see it on Google Maps. Bill's place. But it's I've I've asked at the library, they know what it is. And they say the owner is on his deathbed. <clears throat> across the parking lot from the crematory or funeral home so he's got a lot of stuff going on around here but it's it's just never open all right you get kind of the impression that um there's yeah there's hours you get kind of the impression that there's hours but those aren't accurate. So he's got a couple of museum uh, carriages inside. <clears throat> I don't know what that lady's problem is. She's staring right at me. Yeah, he locks it from the outside. Some kind of a mailbox. It's pretty old style. Got the old triangle. You go like this. That's pretty convenient to have that hook there. I don't know if that makes noise or not. This makes noise. But it's too bad that they can't open up. This guy is just one guy. It's too bad this guy has to be in total control. Total control. He's the only one who can open it up. But I guess if you talk to the people at the <clears throat> at the funeral home, they can maybe help uh, help you get in contact with them or something. But if he's too sick to open it up, what good is that? And he sounds like he's kind of um, uh, stubborn, maybe. But I mean, if he's opening this up for free, for people to, to come for free, then maybe he's not that stubborn. I'm not sure. Well, this comes as a surprise. I was about to step down these, these stairs, and they're broken. Right, so we were at the mercy of the flea, the flea market for using the bathroom, because it's closed down. The library has no bathroom for in its own uh, space, so you have to use the recreational room, but uh, it's the recreational part is closed on Saturday. And you're kind of at the mercy of the flea market, but the flea market now just locked their door, locked the access to the bathrooms. So now it's nothing. So this guy is advertising marijuana at the laundromat. I might give him a call or an email. Wow, somebody discovered that the hard way. Just making a note that I'm washing clothes, dollar seventy-five, and it's yeah, full wash there. I don't know, twenty-five cents. I don't know how many minutes that gets you for the the hot the heater thing. All right, and then front, it looks like they knocked down a sign here. Uh, get a good look. No parking, children playing. All right, and there's a swimming pool next door which was put up in 2008 or pretty recent 2009 a mental note I lost a quarter to this machine it ate a quarter I want to complain about losing a quarter and I don't see any contact information here 
shouldn't that be required by law that they have contact information? Do they rely on that video cam surveillance? I parked over there. It's nice parking for the day. You know, it has day use only there. But coming around, you see this playground in the back. There's no bathrooms, which is unfortunate. And they have great hours for this uh, swimming pool. But they don't adhere to that. I think that's like a summer thing. So you get a close up here. What does that say? See if that can be readable. Community swimming pool admission. Uh, that's all the closer I can get. What's this one say? What? Goggles? Water gear? All right. You know, I can't actually read that with my naked eye. This camera helps. So for these laundromats that don't have bathrooms, it's always good to bring a pee bottle and have a nice hiding spot. I tell you, it's like it's like 80 or 90 percent of these laundromats don't don't have bathrooms available. this Valley Sentinel if they sit in on city council meetings. <laughs> Oh, it's honey. Okay. Uh, is anybody here? Okay, wonderful. Well, you just don't walk in and ask questions. <laughs> wow. Well, surely they got they got cameras then. <laughs> Where are their cameras? Nobody walks in here. Where is he at? Frasier's or something? It's a very nice, nice building. I only have one simple question. to sew this piece, this piece, all right, coat drive, <clears throat> well this is weird, ha, ah, give me your complaints, that's pretty cool, it doesn't really focus in. I was hoping it would. Still kind of a cheap camera. All kinds of weird books. Mark Twain. Ooh, letters. He wrote a lot. Okay, 50 cents. Oh, are we here? Hello. Do, do you work here? Yes. Okay, I'm curious. Do you guys sit in on city council meetings? Yes. Okay. Um, wow. All right. That's, that's cool. You've been doing that for years, I'm yes. sure. All right, and then uh, like, if they're passing an ordinance, you would write in like the arguments for and against yes. that, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, I was interested in researching uh, an ordinance. How would I like look at the back newspapers, the old ones? You got an internet website or something? Uh, no, we don't, uh, but oh, not really they're not all really. on City Hall's website. The all, all the old newspapers? No their ordinances. But the arguments for and against when the ordinance were passed during the mm. city council meeting. Since they don't record the city council meetings mm -hmm. and you can't actually listen to them you know saying oh I want this law because of this reason and then mm -hmm. somebody else interjects 
you know, they don't yes. record that. So then you guys... They the, do record that. Oh, they told me they don't. Like with video? No, they don't with video. Oh, because I'm looking but at they like... they have minutes. I'm looking at the context of the arguments. So and I don't know, do the minutes, do you think the minutes convey the, like the reasons... Yes, for and against. For and against. Oh, they would put that. Uh -huh, they do. Well, maybe I should just look at that closer. Yeah. You guys wouldn't be that reliable. Uh, we're right? pretty reliable, but we oh. don't have we don't have an online presence. And okay. Our archives. No. I don't know how long you're looking back. I, I don't know. I think maybe 2008, but uh, maybe before. 2008. Maybe before 2008. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it, anything. Um, our archives are over at City Hall. The newspaper are. I mean, oh, at, you're talking about the minutes. I mean at, uh, oh, the library. At the museum. There's a museum. Yeah. Oh, over there. Yes. Oh, yes. you got old newspapers. They're collecting old newspapers. They have those bound books like that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, maybe. Okay, that's another resource then. Yes. Okay. All right. That's, yeah, I guess that's all I need to know. Thank you. <clears throat>